Leo, welcome. We have our August 14th through the 20th, 2023 tarot card reading. Remember, tarot is a game. All material is solely for, for entertainment purposes only. With that, Leo, let us begin. We have the lovers, Mercury energy here. Leo, we have that Leo full moon as we move through. We have that 10 of C here as well. So family. It pretty, it pretty much compliments you here under that full moon energy. Very, very pretty. Little red flowers are significant. Vines. Perhaps you find a missing piece here. The six of earth. Perhaps you meet someone's family, maybe their mother, the six of earth. Virgo energy here, Leo energy. Four of fire. This is something to look up to. Beautiful energy here. Now, Kindness goes a long way now, doesn't it? The acts of kindness are everywhere, right? Now, there was this phone that was returned, this purse that was returned, this person in a fast food uh, drive through picked up somebody else's tab because they didn't have the money. These kinds of things. Acts of kindness. Now, we have the sea kitten. So... Now, there is something that maybe makes you feel you're just left out. Maybe the, the black sheep here or the last one to get to the dinner table. Perhaps you've been, you know, uh, resting in another room, perhaps like under a mirror or something like that or a mirror right next to you. That would be significant. Some of you um, also, maybe as a, a child, you had stars above your head. Also, moon, the full moon, the Leo full, full, full moon as well is here. It's just significant. Let me show you what I'm looking at. So, <clears throat> there's there's been some obstacles you've been having to achieve here. Overcome. And um, Scorpio energy, death. There's uh, a rebirth here. So here we have mountains in the back of this uh, relationship here, which show obstacles and the this reminds me of where the red fern grows. Um, and, of course, death uh, and rebirth. Almost like a cat with nine lives. Really beautiful energy coming through. So a lot of protection here. Poppies. I feel like poppies are something that was uh, significant. And, of course, once again, a bed of lavender might help you get some sleep. Or uh, perhaps you're touching uh, base in the dream state, dreaming of all your different past lives. Now, as we look up into uh, Aquarius energy, the star energy, and as well as the tower, <sighs> Aries energy. It's often like there's something that's going to come in. It's really going to change things. And it's going to change the foundation. It's going to definitely be something. Um, what you do now will affect the, uh, you know, will be the past eventually and affect the ether, the future. So, <sighs> after such a tower, there is healing still. Something to look up into and perhaps sometimes look up in disbelief, right? Like, did that just happen? something like that some kind of situation now 
see cat magic mercury energy coming in something here to manifest fire king leo under that full moon the ability to manifest just about anything you want wow leo uh three of earth a jeweled scarab here very egyptian like of course that was that lion's gate portal correct now perhaps there was negativity but something feels like it just it didn't go through um three of c perhaps you've been really tired the priest overall there has been something within you know a lot of work energy uh, a lot of rest overall but you know something deep deep within something you, you psychic about this situation with the nine of earth and through pain sometimes you are able to um like i say maybe touch base on the other side through that portal very interesting all right new moon and leo right so as we proceed here what can we do to free up some of that leo energy now we have uh healing of the solar plexus and i have got this for every single sign so far leo that's crazy so many of our past traumas are stored in the body and can affect our patterns and behaviors people with a difficult childhood or past trauma often have trouble balancing the third chakra therapy support from loved ones and other healthy activities can begin the path to healing and balancing the chakra we also got strengthening the root chakra and here's an activity for you so if you're struggling with sitting meditation okay because you you sitting isn't for everyone but um meditating sitting meditation you could try walking meditations mindful walking can help to deepen your connection to the earth through the body also we have the uh sacral chakra the sacral chakra is the second chakra in your body system and is associated with your emotional body creativity and sensuality so you really do need to get to work just creating at this time just take your mind off of different things you could try mindful walking on grass sand dirt while barefoot to recharge your energy with the earth this can also mean spending more time in nature reconnecting with the earth and uh remember uh, the chakra is often described as the first step to our ladder of consciousness, which is that sacral chakra. And with that, I really do see here where it's forming up here, that ladder. So healing, take the first steps. The healing here, you do have, instead of that way to the death, you have a rebirth here as well. The cat with nine lives here. As you look up, Leo energy in the sky, Aquarius looks up to Leo. Perhaps the other way around with that high priestess and that three of sky and uh, that three of sea, excuse me. And that three of sea right now is very dreamy energy. So kind of pay attention to what is going on around you with that fire king, um, that solar plexus there. What pretty much makes you get out of bed, enjoy all the things that you used to do you know and uh get out there and have fun one way or another but make sure it's kind of not clownish and and the ego kind of get there with the tower present here and also with that three of earth there's something you're going to be able to show off one way or another perhaps something shiny brand new um got four legs uh a new animal of some kind, a new jeweled bug, a new piece of jewelry, um, a scarab, a car, something like that. Something that moves. So, and I see a lot of acts of kindness. So don't let your things get, you know, the frivolity to kind of get ahead of you there. So, just, yeah. Well, this is what I have for you, Leo, for those that are new here. Everything happens for a reason and welcome. And for all those uh, that know who I am and have already subscribed, thank you so much. I hope this video helps. Please check back for August 21st through the 27th, 2023. Uh, reading coming up here soon. 
Yeah. Well, till next time. <laughs>